everybody. Happy Friday evening. So this is just a little impromptu live. I was uh, actually cleaning up my craft room and uh, printing out my new kit that I just released. And I realized I hadn't shared it with you. I've been so busy preparing for my classes that I really haven't even had a chance to play with it as much as I want to. So I thought I would do that tonight. But before I cut this up, I thought I would go ahead and share with you. So just checking my settings, making sure everything looks good. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just share with you this new kit and it's called Be Prepared. Um, and it has a Boy Scout theme. So a while back, several months ago, I found some vintage Boy Scout uh, cards and uh, I was really excited because I got the whole set and it was from one one child and I knew it would be great for uh, ephemera for creating a kit so that's kind of my inspiration behind that um, that is kind of how I start my kits is I find something vintage or antique and then I build from there so that's kind of how I get my ideas uh, so because it's Boy Scout theme, it was perfect for camping, so you're going to see a lot of wilderness and camping images in this kit. So let me go ahead and share with you um, what's in this kit. So I went ahead and I sized down the uh, four pieces of designer paper. So you're going to get these in 8.5 by 11, but I went ahead and I sized them down. Um, and as you can see, it is definitely a, uh, a camping forest type of a wilderness theme. Um, you've got several, or you've got a couple of background papers here. And then this one here shows the uh, Boy Scout leader. Um, and then you also have just a, a, brown, a nice brown tone uh, to complement some of the other pages. So you're going to get all four of these pages in 8.5 by 11. And then um, I've got several ephemera sheets because like I said, I had found some wonderful Boy Scout images um, and I was able to create some great uh, ephemera pieces. So the first page here shows this Boy Scouts of America and it, this is my Scout history, just has some information on the Boy Scouts. Um, I have this Star Scout badge uh, and then I've got some little sentiments here um, I got some tags, I've got some fishing, and then some merit badges, bird study, cooking, and fishing. Um, so again, going with the overall uh, Boy Scout theme. And then on the next page here, I've got some uh, circles here. Uh, they kind of look like they're glass on top. I designed these to make it look like it has a glass top. And then uh, you've got six, six different images here. And then you have the Explorer Rating Scoreboard for the Boy Scouts of America. Um, so that's like a little booklet that you can cut out. And then the next ephemera sheet here is, uh, again, books of maps. So a little map book cover for uh, your travels. <laughs> and then uh, some butterfly images. So I've got a map here of California. Um, some really nice images. Uh, an American flag and then I've got um, some code pages so Woodman's Code and then um, just a little sentiment here about ranking and scouting um, and it talks about certificate of recognition and whatnot and then here I have some slides that I created with some of the different types of uh, designer paper you can easily cut this out or you could put an image here but they're pre-sized uh, slides or kind of like uh, photo photo uh, frames where you could put something in there um, and then this one here I did put a little picture of the Boy Scouts um, and then you have a record of qualifications here um, that you can use for for more uh, of your designs and then finally uh, just some more images here I created some uh, some little stamps of uh, Boy Scout images um, you've got some wilderness uh, images here, some more sentiments, and these are the things that I had found in the antique shop. Um, of course, they were bigger size, but I sized them down. Um, but these are the ones that I found, and I found a whole pack 
um, and I used a couple here in my set. And then I've got a field notes piece of paper, and then I've got a bugle boy, and then a little uh, Boy Scout fish in here. So as you can see, lots of lots of images um, in this kit. It's just really fun, and I had a lot of fun creating it. I actually created this a while ago. Um, hi, Tania. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, not sure how many people are in here. I kind of came on impromptu sharing my new kit, and I thought I would do a little crafting as well. Um, but yeah, just sharing my new kit called Be Prepared, and it has, like I said, kind of a, a Boy Scout theme. So I thought I would do a little bit of crafting tonight, um, Friday night, after a long week of working. So I thought I would go ahead and put together a passport card. And I tend to do that with all of my kits. I create at least one passport card because that's how I started my digital journey um, to be able to create kits to make different types of passport cards so that's what I'm going to work on tonight while we chat a little bit now I know it's later than I usually come on it's uh, 526 here so I know it's later on the east coast uh, hopefully not too late hopefully we'll get some some people joining in to see what they're doing on this Friday night so I'm just going to go ahead and trim up some of my paper here for uh, my passport card. Right. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim this up. Now what's nice about digital images is uh, you can resize these to any any size you need. Uh, like I said, these pieces here were eight and a half by eleven, and I sized them down to four and a quarter by five and a half to fit on one sheet. So a passport card is kind of my signature card. Um, I've been creating these for years, and um, I'll show you the base of it in just a second. But I love it because it's a type of card that you can create for any occasion just by switching up your your images so this is the base of the card so it's a three-tier card and then it opens up like this and then it's decorated so um 1 30 saturday here in new zealand oh my goodness well, 1.30 in the afternoon, that's not bad. Maybe I'll get some people from outside of the U.S. because of the time change. I never come on this late. So, uh, yeah, we might get some new watchers. Um, but, yeah, the passport card is a three-page card. Um, and I like it because I can, I can uh, like I said, use different theme paper. To create different types of cards so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of figure out what I'm gonna do for my back in here um, and what's nice about the kits that I have here if you've not if you're not familiar with my kits Tania is I have a lot of the paper already pre-sized um, so you don't necessarily have to resize a lot of it you can certainly resize it if you want to but um, a lot of it I've already sized to work with my passport cards since that's kind of how I started. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of figure out what I'm doing here. And I might trim that up just a bit. Usually I have it five and a half and then this is seven but I just trimmed it just just a bit all right so this is gonna go here
Yeah, a lot of a lot of people, you know, can resize a lot of the digital images, but sometimes you just want to print and go. Um, so that's why I've tried to size a lot of my digital kits um, to be able to just print and go and not have to necessarily resize the paper to start crafting. So let's go ahead and get this glued down. And then this is going to go right on top of here. Now, like I said, I ordinarily do a pocket here, but I think I'm going to do a pocket on one of the other pages tonight. Um, just because I don't want to necessarily cover up this image. I really like the image, um, and I don't know if I want to cover it up. It's got a really ni nice canoe here, and uh, I've got the Boy Scout leader as well. So I see some people are starting to join. Hi, Mimi. Um, Mimi's Creative Nest. So I don't know if you've ever joined my live before. You finally caught me. I was just going to say, uh, where where are you from, uh, Mimi? Um, this is a little later than I typically go live. So we probably will get some different watchers tonight. So I'm just working with my new kit. I just released a new kit today called Be Prepared. Um, and it has kind of a Boy Scout theme going on. The Boy Scout, Boy Scout motto is Be Prepared. So that's why I named it that, if you're wondering. <laughs> and uh, ordinarily, I have several, several cards created with my kits. But I have been getting ready for... I've been getting ready for my class on, on uh, when is my class? Sunday afternoon. So I haven't had a lot of time to play. Um, so it says that there's seven people here. Okay. Some people are shy, I guess, and not talking and just watching. <laughs> and that's all right. So I'm using walnut stain here to just add some distress to the edges. And then I'm going to need some images here. Now, what I like about this design is once you have the card closed, you're going to see the, the other paper. So that's why I really like these kits because the paper all coordinates um, so you know that it's going to match. Let's see. And that's always nice. All right, so I am going to have to trim this down here. All right, so let's see how much I'm going to have to trim. Now, when I'm making these uh, cards, um, a lot of times when I'm having to trim my paper, I will just kind of eyeball it. So let me go ahead and just trim this just a bit. And then this is going to go here. All right. And then we'll trim off, probably off of the bottom, because I don't want to lose this owl. Let's see. So I'm just going to trim this just, just a bit and then we'll see how that's going to work. So looks like I need just a little bit more off of the bottom and off of the side. So let's go ahead and just trim a bit more off. Alright, so 
like I said, I've been uh, I've been preparing for my my class on on Sunday, um, and there's still some seats. So if you are interested in a free class Sunday afternoon, um, there are still some spots available, and you can sign up over on my website, uh, TaylorMadeCardsForYou.com. Um, and it is under classes so you can sign up um and it's going to be a lot of fun i have a kit i'll be working with uh and uh i have a, a free sheet i'm going to be giving away as well so if you want to join in on that sunday afternoon um there's still a few seats available for that all right so So to any of that might not work for you because I know that your time zone is a lot different than ours in the U.S. So that might be early in the morning for you. All right. Turn off just a bit more. So I'm just rounding my corners and then I'm going to go ahead and add my paper. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a pocket. I think I'm not sure exactly where my pocket's going to be. Uh, maybe probably here I'm thinking. That means I'm going to be covering up my deer. Maybe I'll do my pocket here. Tania, you're used to that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess if you want to catch anybody live in the U.S., then uh, you're probably used to the odd hours, I would guess, right? It seems like there's a lot more people going live these days. Maybe I'm just following people. Um that go to live go live um but it just seems like recently there's been a lot more people on youtube going live uh, maybe people are getting more comfortable maybe you know since we were all stuck in the house during the whole covid pandemic we got used to doing videos i'm not sure <laughs> but uh seems to be the norm now huh all right so i'm gonna do a little pocket here i think It's going to be about two, two inches. I think that's going to go right, right there. Yeah, you're right. We're all used to staying home. Um, and, and watching people on videos or on Zoom has become the new norm. But a lot of the companies are starting to get back to work. I know my company um, had us working remote, um, and now a lot of the companies are allowing people to go back into the offices. Uh, some people don't want to, <laughs> but uh, if you want to go back, it's it's nice to be able to have that option. All right, so I'm just creating my pocket here. I'm 
Now ordinarily on this card, I put my pocket here. But like I said, I didn't want to cover up this image. I like it too much. So I'm going to go ahead and just put my pocket on this side. And we'll let that dry. And then I will add this here. So if there's anybody else out there, I'd love for you to say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. So this kit has some really, really nice images. I really like them. So if you're into the whole outdoor image theme, this is a great kit for that. All right. And then we've got to figure out what we're going to put on top here. Just adding a little bit more walnut stain to the edges. And let's see. All right, what are we going to do for the top here? So we've got lots of choices here. I kind of like this book of maps. I think that would be really good. Or even this one here would be nice. It's kind of the perfect size for it. Let's go ahead and do the book of maps. So uh, I'm in... Arizona. Um, I live in Prescott, Arizona. So Prescott is about an hour and a half north of Phoenix, if you're familiar with Arizona. It's a small town. Yeah, look at that fits pretty pretty good i might i might line it a little bit let's see oh maybe not let's see what can i do here just looking at my options my options my options now this owl Winter here in Ohio. So is it still not warming up in Ohio? Um, we're finally starting to get some nice spring weather. So I, I can appreciate that. Uh, Prescott can get a little bit cold, but we've had some, we've had some nice weather uh, today and hopefully this weekend it'll be really nice as well. Trying to see here, I kind of want to see what I can do here. Let's see. autumn but still having hot weather how cold does it get there Tania <laughs> it's one day spring next day snow yeah yeah the weather's been going up and down here as well too which isn't great because that's conducive of, of getting sick when you have weather going back and forth Let's 
so I'm just trying to get some background paper here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Negative eight. Oh my goodness, that is cold. Yeah, it doesn't get that cold here, thank goodness. Thank goodness for that. I'm just creating I might actually just keep this as my cover I kind of like that it says Boy Scouts of America scoreboard looks pretty good pretty good but see how the kid just kind of works together uh, let's see and goes forward and all the colors look great now I was gonna put this but I, I kind of like this I think I might leave that maybe we'll put this on the inside Just above the South Pole, so so that we, ooh, yes. All right, so let's see if we can fit this in the inside. I don't measure I just kind of estimate here <laughs> and I just trim a little bit here and there till it works maybe a little bit more gotta hurry it's starting to get dark here and I wanted to go on a walk and then I started crafting and I get lonely in my craft room, so I turn on the, I turn on the video. <laughs> I used to have my little puffs in here when I was crafting, but we've lost all of our little doggies over the last few years. We've talked about getting some more dogs. We just haven't, we haven't yet. It's, it's so much work to get new puppies, isn't it? But they're so sweet. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice. So that's the essence of a passport card. Tania, you were saying that you've never seen a passport card. Um, well, this is a passport card. So you've got your three pages. Uh, it opens up here nicely. Um, matching paper. I've got little pockets to put little pieces of ephemera in here. Um, and then I've got, I've got some little, 
merit badges how cute um and then i've got these little words here let's see if maybe we can add those Just trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. Uh, are you, Mimi, are you asking about my card class? That's on Sunday. And I'm going to be doing. Uh, a technique class uh, called triple layer stamping and matting um, I'm going to show there's a technique out there called triple uh, triple stamping I believe that's what it's called and I'm going to show you how uh, I hack it with digital images so that's my class on Sunday it is a free class um, over on my website, but you'll need to register in order to get the, uh, the link to get into the class. So Mimi, you say you've been watching me for years. Well, thank you. Yeah, I think uh, layering is probably my favorite. Um, I'm going to be participating in a few events, I guess, <laughs> coming up. Um, and, and I've got some really great designs that I'm going to be sharing. So it should be a lot of fun. But yeah, I, I love to layer. Working with ephemera is definitely my favorite. Um, and if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm a huge Tim Holtz fan. So a lot of what I create works well with his product because I use a lot of his product. Uh, my class is at 3.30 my time. I'm on the Pacific time zone right now so 3 30 my time which is 6 30 eastern time and it's an hour and a half so let's see maybe we'll put adventure there or maybe here So yeah, if you're interested in attending the class, go ahead and register and uh, you'll get a link to join uh, and you'll make sure that you join the group because that's where all of the uh, inform information is going to be. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So I'm just adding some final touches here. See, let's put something here. <sighs> Kindness, it will never be wasted. Oh, we got to use these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, he lives actually here in town in Prescott. Um, I've ran into him a few times. But yeah, I love, I love his product. Um, 
and it, it works well with what I do. So uh, I enjoy working with Tim's Tim's stuff. I'm anxious for his uh, Stampers Anonymous release to come out. Um, I already, if you, I don't know if you saw my uh, reveal for all the ideology that I picked up, Mimi. Um, but ideology, his ideology uh, brand or collection is, is my favorite. Um, but I also like his stamps as well. So waiting for waiting for the stamps to come out. I don't have all of his stuff because I'm not really a cutesy crafter. Um, and some of his stuff is a little cutesy. So I tend to stick with more of the the grungy vintage stuff. <laughs> That's what I like. All right. Kindness will never be wasted. Stick these in here. <laughs> yeah, kind of spent a small portion on his ideology. Um, so another thing, the one of the reasons I put a pocket here in my passport cards is it is uh, it's great for a uh, a gift card. So if you're giving this card to somebody. Um, you can you can stick gift cards in here and it's the pockets the perfect spot for it All right, so just some final touches here Let's see All right, uh, Yeah, the password cards are a lot of fun. Um, I plan on having a class on variations of the passport cards. <laughs> Meaning you, you want to have, wound up buying a few more of the items. Yeah, yeah, I didn't buy everything, but I bought most of it. Um, in fact, a few of the items that I didn't share with you came in after the fact. Uh, so, let's see. See if I can find it. Oh yeah, there they are. So I ended up getting these as well. Um, the portraits. These came in after the fact. These are the bigger ones. Um, I, I wasn't. I was kind of on the fence with these, but. I kind of like them. I think they're going to be great um, for various projects. So this this is one of the things I did not share that came in after the fact. And then of course the ideology. I bought several, or not ideology, the remnant ropes. I bought several of those because I use remnant ropes a lot. All right, so I think that's good. Um, let's see. So yeah, as you can see, this kit has lots of different choices. <laughs> There's lots of paper you can work with. I mean, I have lots of paper still uh, available to make other cards. Um, but yeah, so that's that's my passport card. Um, So yeah, just opens up. Um, ordinarily, I have a place for writing a little note, but um, you can always get a journal card. You can even use one of these um, to cut out and stick in here. And you can type your little message here if you wanted to. 
Um, so yeah, just, just a really fun kit, a little different than some of my other ones. A lot of my other ones, um, tend to be a little bit more feminine, um, but certainly we can't forget the men in our lives. Um, and that's why I have to remember to create these masculine kits as well. So that's it for me tonight. Um, I'm going to try to get out there and walk. It's really nice. It's cooled off nicely here. So I'm going to go, uh, try to do a little bit of walking before it gets too dark but just wanted to come on and share my new kit called be prepared and if you're not familiar with my website um be sure to check it out and i just put that in the notes taylormadecardsforyou.com um, and this is my latest kit i have all sorts of digital kits out there um, that go great with some of the Tim Holtz product because uh, yeah Tim Holtz is is my favorite brand and I create a lot of my kits to coincide with his stuff uh, just because I'm my best customer and I create what I want to craft with um, and that's how I kind of got into digital kits because once you use the product, it was gone. And if you want to recreate the same card over and over again, or even variations, um, digital kits are really nice. And you don't have to have fancy paper. I mean, this isn't really thick paper. Um, it is, it is uh, uh, color, color print for color print, uh, but it's not real thick. Um, if you have a really nice uh, printer, you can print thicker paper as well as thinner paper. So yeah, lot, lots of options with digital kits. So that's it for me tonight, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me while I put together my passport card using my latest kit called Be Prepared. And uh, don't forget, if you guys want to join the class on Sunday afternoon, there are still a few seats available. So go ahead and register. And... Uh, Hopefully we'll see you on Sunday. Okay, see you later. Bye.